Praise the Lord, everybody. God is so good. And truly the Lord's mercy, it endures until the end. I want to talk to you today about David's song of thanksgiving found in 1 Chronicles, the 16th chapter. And I want to begin reading in your hearing verse 7. On that day, David first delivered this psalm into the hand of Asp and his brethren to thank the Lord. See, the Ark of the Covenant had been returned back to its rightful place, returned back to the camp of Israel. And the proper response for the Ark of of the Lord, you know, representing the presence of God, the right response was to offer up praise to our Lord, uh, to thank him and to, to speak of his wonders and to tell of his goodness. And that's what David did. He began to appoint, you know, the, the people that would play the harp and the, all the string instruments and the trumpets and all of those things, you know, to celebrate because the presence of God was back in the camp. Let's put a pen right there. What do you do when you enter into the presence of the Lord? When you sense that God is moving, do you praise him? Hallelujah. Do you thank him? Do you lift up your hands because he's worthy? He's worthy of all that we can give. Every breath that we have. Hallelujah. God is worthy to be praised. He says in verse 8, Oh, give thanks to the Lord. Call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the people. Hallelujah. We are to talk about how great our God is. That should be in our conversation all the time. Telling how God has delivered us. Telling how God has provided and made a way out of no way. Telling even about our God, how he created all things. How he owns all things things, how he has done mighty works even for the people of old. Even if we reach back to the Old Testament, we can look at how he delivered the children of Israel from Egypt, how he parted the Red Sea, how he used Moses who was a murderer and who stuttered. God used him to do miraculous things, to bring his people out of that 400 year bondage. God is great. Great. He does marvelous things. He does things that we can only tell of. Hallelujah. How he saved Esther and her people. How he delivered Daniel. How he was with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. How he was with Joshua as he took the land. Hallelujah. And as he was with Abraham and with Paul. Hallelujah. And with all those apostles of the New Testament. Now you put yourself in it. What has God done for you that you can tell the nations? What has God done for you that you can even start right in your household? How you have food on your table today for Thanksgiving. How your children are in good health. How the family has come together. How God has allowed the death to pass by your house when Corona was taking people out. But he allowed us to see one more day. Why? So we can speak of his great we can speak of his works that he has done. Truly our God is worthy of our praises. First Chronicles 16 chapter reading on verse 9 says, sing to him, sing psalms to him, talk of all his wondrous works. Hallelujah. Glory in his holy name. You know, don't talk about yourself. Talk about what God has done, the great things. Even if we look to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, hallelujah, how God gave his only begotten son to pay the price for our sins. We can talk about how they crucified him, how they laid him in a borrowed tomb, and we can talk about how he rose from the dead and he was seen by many eyewitnesses. We can tell of the great deeds 
praise of our God. Uh, we can tell how the only begotten son is sitting at the right hand. He's our mediator. He's our great high priest. Hallelujah. He is the reason that we are filled with the Holy Spirit. He's the reason why we have a relationship with God. Uh, he's the reason why we can call our father Abba. Hayarara Come on and give God praise right here on this Thanksgiving for all of the things that he has done for us. He is a magnificent God. Again, verse 10 says, glory in his holy name that the hearts of those rejoice who seek the Lord. We have reason to be glad. We have reason to be thankful on this Thanksgiving, not for, you know, our own personal things, but we can be thankful that we are children of the most high God and he protects us. He provides for us. Hallelujah. And he is watching over his people. Why? Because I want you to know tonight again, God loves you. I'll conclude with this verse again. Verse eight says, Oh, give thanks to the Lord. Call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the peoples.